Oh my gosh. So real sick versus disaster. Man, oh man, this shit was crazy, yo. First of all, this is a battle that a lot of people kind of wanted to see because the styles, you know what I'm saying, seem like it could be like not a style clash, but it can go either way and they both can, if they come with with people expect it's gonna be a crazy ass battle exciting battle punches random shit and all that you know what i'm saying mad energy you know what i'm saying two tough guys to a point real sick not a tough guy but you know they got that aggression behind their um style so long story short plus they like not a raz but they like from over there somewhere you know what i mean but anyway so the nigga real sick first round is crazy and I'm gonna be honest, I want y'all to answer this. If Real Sick would've went second, how do y'all feel about this battle? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times when you go first, the person that's second, they could possibly beat you first. You know what I'm saying? Because they could add to it. Um, plus just the feel of it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it is when you go second. You know what I'm saying? You got the advantage, plus you got the whole style. With a nigga like Real Sick, he's one of those guys that got like, I feel like when he goes second, he can match niggas that go first, if you get what I'm saying. It's hard to explain, but I mean, he got enough punches and a style and energy to, to do his thing. But anyway, fuck all that. First round, real sick, goes ham. I'm going to tell y'all, he won that shit. You know what I mean? Because disaster's first round, this nigga basically got booed, fam. Like, niggas got to understand, URL was different than grind time. Um, KOTD and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really earn these niggas' respect. And plus, they not going to play with you too much. You know what I'm saying? One little fuck up and they on your ass. So, long story short, this nigga's getting booed and all kind of shit. He got the nerve to blame it on the crowd when mm, it's kind of his fault. You know what I mean? Um, what I was going to say. So, mind you, some weird shit happened where, like, I'm like, where the fuck is this at? Man, I want to talk about this nigga's outfit. Niggas are saying he should have won the second round off his outfit alone. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, because he on some hip-hop shit. You know what I'm saying? He funny as hell, too. Nigga not matching, nothing. But we ain't going to talk about all that. So, long story short, man. I really want to get to the third round. Because I feel like the second round is like, whatever. Because a lot of people had Diz winning the second round. When he actually came back into this thing, they had him winning the second round at first. And I feel like... Because Real Sick got one of those styles, like I said. When he goes first, too, it's like, uh, heard it before. Same shit. So it gets tiring. But fast forward to the third round. Real Sick does his thing again. He's smoking shit. Like, but he's going first. You got to remember that. So let's see what this is going to do. Because some people are like, hold on. Did this win the second round? Hold on. This nigga might win this battle. What the fuck? So long story short, and people was feeling like, I know, people was feeling like real sick was losing his confidence. So they was iffy about the third round. He did this thing in the third round. This nigga Diz, this nigga's ass. He ain't ass. Hold on. Now that I said ass, I got to think of I tell y'all about this. The nigga Easy to Block Captain was on Twitter. You already know they've been beefing for a minute ever since their battle. He made a blog already. He calling the disaster Diz ass dirt. Saying that nigga's ass, man. He was doing too much, man. But a lot of people talking about he should retire and all kind of shit off this battle. That's crazy. But mind you, no, no, no. The nail in the coffin on this battle. And I got it right here, man. I'm on Twitter right now. Yo, look at this. The nigga said the N-word. The nigga said something about a sand nigga or something. These niggas is not fucking with this nigga. Now they, ch now they chanting 3-0. He said, uh, hold on, hold on. He said, I don't give a fuck. That's what I was called. The nigga said a sand nigga. Something about they call me a sand nigga. Like, man, niggas got to stop thinking they could say some shit and, like, relate and all that kind of shit. And niggas just going to fall for the okie doke. Nigga, you're not black, nigga. Like, what are you doing? Anyway. Oh, I didn't mean, yo, y'all gotta see his face. Oh, I didn't mean that nigga was stuck. Like, I, I really want to play this, but I don't want to get flagged, man. But, oh my gosh. Long story short, the crowd didn't stop chanting. Or, not even chanting. They didn't stop, stop talking shit. 
and booing him basically. And long story short, Smack had to stop the battle. Like they wouldn't let him go on. He was like, fuck that, I'm gonna go on, yo, for hip hop. Y'all ain't gonna let me for hip hop. And he tried to pull that card. That nigga Smack said, this shit is over. He had to stop it, it was a rap, man. Like you fucking, like, they're gonna try to blame it on the two weeks prep. And I'm gonna give them the benefit of a doubt a little bit just because honestly, like, two weeks that really ain't that much time but you're a veteran and you shouldn't have took it for no bread especially summer madness this is you getting back on smack and all that shit like you gotta come prepared but part of that too is like i said he don't be on smack like that. that's a different atmosphere man and you can't be using the n-word nigga who you think you is you gotta stop that shit man you can say that with your peoples and all that shit like i mean go do that but like on a platform like where everybody's seeing you, people that ain't your peoples, like, out in the world, and, like, you know how this culture is, it's like, see, you was talking that this is my culture shit the other day, the three letter men and them niggas, you know what I mean? This is like a little payback for that, bro. For real, it is when you think about it, but it's all good, man, but this loss, man, y'all think three zip or two one, man, I don't know, man, y'all tell me, it might be three oh. They try to give him the second, but like I said, at the end, they was chanting three oh, three oh. But once you said that in, you might have got disqualified, man. I don't know. It's your boy, Mark Black, Molly, and my films, all that. Holla at me. Till the next time.